So then let's continue our discussion on this model accuracy figure R2 value, which a lot of people in linear regression and machine learning get confused about. So 0.98 accuracy, what does it actually mean? So when we work out and when we look at this calculation, it may go over our head and we go, what in the world is going on? So let's break it down. This is our full calculation and see my previous video when I go through it in detail. But when we work out this accuracy and we get this figure 0.98, 0.98 accuracy, what do they actually actually mean? And this is the important thing to understand. If you were to ask a friend, so let's say these are the actual house prices, so these are the house prices, and you divide them by five because there are five prices, then this is what somebody looking at a street, they go, well, actually, the houses in the street are worth 300,000. Then based on that, you, the user comes up with an average. But what you have is you have the actual prices because this is the past data. Remember, you build your machine learning models on the past data. Nothing comes out of thin air. It has to be based on something, so it's based on the past data. And then you say, well, based on the data, then the difference between the actual price of 200 versus what an average user may guess is this much. And you might go, well, that, you know, that's 100. So the difference is 100, but you square it. Why do you square this? This is to enable your error to become more prominent. So it's like making this mistake uh, at, at school. If you make an error and you want the student to really realize that they've done this wrong, then you want to penalize them. So rather than taking five points of them, you take twice. So you take 10 points of them or you take 100 points of them. It's up to you what you decide in the penalizer. But a standard has become is you square it. This is just something mathematicians have come up with. Uh, you could cube it and so on, but standard has been to square it. That's what we'll go with. That's what I've been agreed in the wider community. So when you square this, then basically all these errors, so the error here, the difference between the 100 gets multiplied to, you know, squared to this number. And you add these up and this is your average error. And you do the same thing with your model. So with your model, it predicts the prices and you go, oh, actually the difference here is 7. But since you square the number, it becomes 49. And then you do the same thing for the each actual house price. So here, 200, 250. Remember, our actual prices were here. So you keep doing that and then you get the same total. So when you look at this error versus this error, 25,000 versus 394, which one is better? You can immediately tell from the numbers that 394 is lower so that means there are less errors in predicting versus the errors based on a complete guess and what do we mean by well it's not a complete guess so it's based on the average so this is the easiest way somebody could guess something you take the prices and then you divide them by the total number that is the average yeah so by taking the average slash s guess just imagine your friend throwing a plane and whose plane goes the furthest so you go oh actually you know this time you've done five meters this time you've done 10 meters so i'm going to say on average you've done you know six meters and so on but that's how averages work and that's what your best guess is and then the model guess is actually better so it goes actually you know, 394 versus 25,000. And then once you take a percentage, you divide one by the other, you, you get a, a tiny 394 at a percentage of, of this one, a very low percentage. And then you just minus it from one, which gives you 98% accuracy. So what we're saying is based on this 394, this is a very low number. So it's only, you know, a fraction of, of the original 25,000, which is a very low error rate. Then you could turn that around and say, well, one minus, so basically one minus that tiny number that we get as a result of this. I mean, this 98% accurate. And that's what we mean by model accuracy in machine learning, linear regression, more